Good morning everyone, my name is Ala. I am the president of Friends of Dialysis and today we'll be doing a kit event. So we'll be putting together these items that we have for the patients and uh, we usually do these during our general meetings but due to the current circumstances it's a little difficult. So I hope you guys can in still enjoy the process virtually in a way. And uh, yeah, so we'll get started. We'll go ahead and clean this table, put on our PPE and then put together these kits. It's really exciting. I really wish everyone was here. Our former events were really fun. We were able to put together uh, little hearts. So we made little heart pillows for the patients and it was really exciting. And we had like, it was a Valentine's theme. So we had people making cards and people putting together um, the pillows. It was quite the challenge. So next time if we were to ever do something like that, we'll make sure to use some like fabric glue or something like that. So now for the fun part. So we'll set up, we'll go ahead and pause. Uh, my sister and I are just gonna set up everything here and then uh, we'll come back when, us, when we're actually putting the, together the kits. Okay, so hello everyone, I'm back. So we have the stuff set up. Uh, we're going to be providing back scratchers, a manicure sets, Vaseline, and some um, lotion. And yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll also be including informationals, but that's something that's going to be printed out and then included in the kit. You can talk. Can you take those games too? So we bought games for the patients. So we bought games for the patients, but those games are going to be uh, taken with us every time we go to a volunteering event, hopefully after the pandemic is, open, uh, is over. And we'll be able to take those games and play with the patients. And another one of our mission is to be able to provide these kids as well as to um, provide emotional support to the patients. And that could be just by talking to them or by getting their mind off of what they're going through at the moment and um, you know, play a game with us or something like that. So we're at the halfway point, I believe, and we ran out of lotion because this was a donation from Target um, on Catella and in Anaheim. And so it, they were very generous to donate about 100 items and or I think it was like a 50 or $60 worth of items. So we're going to be putting chapstick instead. Uh, but again, I think this is another time for me to pitch out that we really do uh, appreciate all donations that come towards uh, Friends of Dialysis and if you know anyone who has um, the ability and um, would like to donate to our organization then uh, please let us know let them know um, we'll put the Venmo below it, five dollars can I think put one of these kits together 
So one cup of coffee, if you're not going out for coffee and you have that extra five bucks in your, <laughs> in your wallet, then go ahead and donate it to us. And I think it'll make one of our patients really, really happy. So yeah, um, we'll go back to putting that time lapse in right now. <laughs> So we've made all, um, almost 150 kits. Um, we ran out of a few of the Target products, but you know what? We'll keep on getting donations. We'll keep on uh, striving to make the best kits possible for our patients so that they can be able to be comfortable and be able to use those things while they're um, doing their dialysis treatment. But this concludes right now the kit making process. Now it is <laughs> up to us to go drop them off uh, today. Um, and we'll probably take you guys along with us. Uh, it took us about an hour to put everything together. Um, wouldn't have been able to do it without my sisters. So thank you so much, Ekfan, for helping me. And thank you guys for watching uh, up until now. Um, we really hope that we'll be able to do this together one day and that we'll be able to um, maybe I won't be there, but that you guys will be able to in the future uh, FOD members will be able to enjoy this process and enjoy volunteering with the patients and playing games with them because um, it's such a tough process for like the treatment, the acid treatment process is so tough on the patient's body, mentally it's re and emotionally it's really draining and so um, we hope that through our, you know, through this organization, we're able to alleviate some of that. Um, and so I'm excited to see what we have for the future. And I'm super excited that we were able to still fulfill our mission despite the current circumstances. And we hope that, you know, this all goes well and we'll be able to do it for the next few quarters. If you know anyone that can donate, please donate. <laughs> yeah. So we'll go ahead, put this in the car, uh, clean up right here, and then um, I'll see you guys later. Hello, everyone. Um, so we're on our way to the facility, and as promised, we are filming this process, uh, and I'm taking you guys along with me. Uh, we have the kits in the back, and uh, I, yeah, we made about 150 of them, which is really, really exciting, and I'm really glad we were able to raise enough money to be able to make really good quality kits because um, I'm sure the patients are going to be really really like excited um, to receive them and be able to use the stuff that's in them so yeah I will keep you guys posted I'll probably may film maybe not film the rest of this day or like the, the exchange process but um, yeah thank you guys so much for being a part of this thank you for um, coming along with me on this you know kit making journey and dropping it off and then i hope that hopefully one day you guys will be able to take part in it and if you don't want to take if you can since we you can't take part in it um directly um and you have the funds don't forget to donate <laughs> bye guys <laughs>